Okay guys, well I'm randomly starting out this video in the back of my Suburban, but today's video is going to be fishing with the good old Scooby-Doo push button. So the pond I'm about to go to, you know, there's quite a few fish in it. It's not super hard to catch a fish in there. So I decided, hey, let's give me a little bit of a challenge and go back to the rod I first started out with seven years ago. And to make it even more interesting, it only has one eye and the tip is gone. Now I'm going to answer a little question. Did I catch my first fish on this? No. I never caught a fish on this sucker. But anyways, I am going to fish with it today. But I did make a little bit of a modification. Instead of having the old 4 pound mono on there from 7 years ago, I stripped that off, put some 14 pound braid, put on this 8 pound mono leader, and I'm going to be fishing a little drop shot with it. And so, yeah, I'm going to be fishing a drop shot today. If I can't get bit on the drop shot, I'll probably just cut the line right here and fish a little wacky worm. And then maybe later in the day, I might try something a little faster, maybe even a topwater on this thing. Now, the reel is a 1 to 1 gear ratio. I believe I'm fishing with a 2 foot rod and it's a heavy action see barely bends at all got a little pistol grip here for maximum walking the dog action maybe if i use a little top water later i can really smoke them with that handle and i got those custom purple wraps up there with aluminum oxide guides now one of my favorite things about this monster is the silky smooth drag I believe the drag max is out at like two pounds or something like that. But you know what? We're going out there and we're going to try to catch some dinks. What do I think is going to be my biggest problem? Probably either setting the hook with this one foot rod or trying to, you know, keep pressure on them with this one to one gear ratio. But there's one thing for sure. I ain't going to catch no fish sitting in the back of my Suburban talking to this big black camera box. So let's go fishing. Now, like I said, I am using a little drop shot and uh, my weight is going to be an eighth ounce in ponds unless they're like a really deep pond. I don't like to go any bigger than a eighth ounce. And for worm, I'm just using these little Bass Pro Shops cut tail worm. They're really small and I found that they're great for a drop shot. And all I'm going to do is just barely even nose hook this thing just like that right there. That way the point's still sticking out because, you know, this rod and reel it's not going to be the best thing in the world for setting hooks. Probably going to have to do some kind of swarp hook set, but hey, we're still going to try to catch us a good bass right here. It'll be a challenge, that's for sure. It'll be a challenge. Got him. Oh my gosh. Got him. I got him. Tighten up my drag here. Make sure he don't get off. I'll forget that hand line in this sucker. Forget that. Oh, he got me hung up. He still, yep, got him. Hand lining, hand lining. Guess what? I just caught a bass on my Scooby-Doo rod. Bang! Let's go! Scooby-Doo rod. I don't know what was wrong. The drag messed up or something. I couldn't even reel. I was tightening the drag the wrong way. That's what it was. Got us a nice little bass on a Scooby-Doo rod. And boys, I just got here. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys, I got something to tell y'all. Remember that popper that I lost? I got it back. The last At the last second, I was getting ready to leave. I looked up on the bank, and there it was. It had fell out of the tree and floated. Since this is a top water, it stayed on top of the water and floated all the way down to the bank. And it just so happened that last second, I saw it. I rushed down and got it. So, still got the popper. And man, hopefully I can still catch some fish on it. I'm going to tie it on this baby rod and see what I can do with it. Oh yeah, right under that tree. I don't know how in the world I cast it that accurate. Right up under that tree. I mean, I've always heard that shorter rods are more accurate. But I didn't think they's that accurate. And I didn't mean, I didn't think they was talking about this shorter rod either, but I don't care. I'll take it. I'm going to switch back to a, just a weightless wacky worm. See if I can't get some of these guys right here to bite. Got him. Oh, dang it, he come off. Dang it, I saw him flash on it. Hooked him. He spun one time. Didn't get the hook. Oh, dang it, he came back again. 
first few casts with this wacky worm i cast my top water right there multiple times that just goes to show that you do need to change up don't think that just because you fish with one bait that there's not any fish there some fish are just locked in to where they want one specific bait and that's your job as a fisherman to figure that out oh dang it he hit it again wow Got him. This time my reel is working a little bit. Oh man, this is a monster. I don't know if I get him in or not. Oh, barely. Barely got him in. He almost. Giant, baby. Giant. Well, boom. That's what we come here for. Gigantors. And he spit my worm. Got him. Mm. This one's a good one. See my rod tip bending right there? Yeah, me neither. This one's a little bit better. He's not a giant, but I'm not using a very giant rod either. This one came with a little seed with him. There we go. Anyways, on to the next one. And uh, guys, go ahead and add me on Snapchat. Right there is my thing. Uh, that way, the people on Snapchat, they already knew I was making this video because I posted it and put it on my story on Snapchat. So follow me there on Snapchat, KendallGray6, and on Instagram at KendallGray1. So, yeah, because those people, they already knew I was doing this video. Got him! Got him! If I can keep him on, I got him. I, I got him if I can keep him on. This is a good one too. Not good, but better. This is a better fish too. Giddy, giddy. Pull him out of the mat. Pull him out of the mat. Pull him out of the grass mat. Oh, he's in some heavy hydrilla. Uh, 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 push my button. Got him. There he is, son. Just like that. J right before the thunder comes. There's thunder like half a mile from me. But I said, you know what? Hey, bud, I can catch one more fish. And I did. Let's see if I can get him unhooked. He, sw he swallowed this sucker. I knew he was there. He was way over there. And I knew he was there because he had blew up on like six little minners. He had pinned them up against the bank. Just, f it just hunted them down all over the place. Splashing everywhere. So I knew he was there. I made a cast. It nicked that tree, but somehow it didn't get caught. As soon as it hit the water, boom, seen this guy dart at it. Then I just sit there trying to pick up the slack before he spit it out. And good boy, I got him. And look at that storm rolling in. Good way to end the day right there. And guys, that right there just goes to show you don't need anything super special just to catch a bass. I'm using this little one foot rod, one to one gear ratio, and I've caught, I don't know, four or five fish today. Okay guys, well I guess you can say I've successfully completed the Scooby-Doo Bass Fishing Challenge rod challenge thing. To be honest guys, that's probably the most fun I've had bass fishing in a really long time. So, if y'all got any more crazy challenges, any kind of challenges at all, comment them below, because I can already tell I'm gonna have a lot of fun doing the challenges you guys suggest because i had a blast doing this and anyways this was hard but it was so fun i'll see you later